hi there students welcome back to another video lesson so after nating uh, i-discuss yung mga word problems involving permutation of n objects taken r at a time and then as well as yung kung paano natin hanapin yung value ng n or r using the permutation formula so for this uh, video lesson we will be discussing about solving problems involving distinguishable permutations so, for the lesson of objective, of course, we will solve word problems on distinguishable permutations. So, distinguishable permutation is a type of permutation. Next naman is distinguishable permutation. So, distinguishable permutation is a type of permutation that can be distinguished from one another. Usually, words are being used as examples. Okay, so kung paano naiiba ang isang bagay sa ibang bagay. Okay. So, maaari natin gamitin po dito, sa distinguishable permutation, is yung mga words, mga salita, as examples. So, we use the formula, so n factorial all over n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial times up to n sub k factorial where n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial up to n sub k factorial are the repeated items. Okay, so di ba meron po tayong mga words na may mga repeating letters. Meron din namang hindi. Okay, so kapag yung ating mga letters sa isang word ay hindi umuulit, so yung pinaka-formula lang po natin dyan is yung n factorial. Kasi magkakaiba po yung mga letters. And then, kapag naman may mga umulit, so, ililista po natin yung mga repeated items, repeated letters dun sa denominator. So, depende po kung ilang beses umulit yung letters. So, kapag isang beses lang po, we don't need to write one factorial. So, usually ang ginagamit po natin dyan is more than one, two, three, four, and so on. So, let us have the first problem. There are six chemistry books in five P6 books. In how many ways can these books be arranged on a shelf if A. There are no restrictions. So for letter A, there are no restrictions. Ibig sabihin, pwede po natin i-arrange yung mga books in any order. So pwede natin ilagay kung saan man natin gustuhin. Doon mismo sa shelf na yon. So since there are no, no restrictions, ang gagawin lang po natin, i-add po natin yung uh, bilang ng chemistry books tsaka physics books. And then, kukunin natin yung uh, factorial niya. So, magiging 6 plus 5 siya. Then, that is 11. And then, kukunin natin 11 factorial. So, 11 factorial is equal to 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 up to 1. So, kapag minultiply po natin yan, 11 up to 1, our product will be 39,916,800. So, ano po ang ibig sabihin yan? So, ibig sabihin, meron po tayong 39,916,800 ways para i-arrange yung uh, mga 11 books na yun. So, next naman, Books of the same subject must be placed together. So, meron po tayong anim na chemistry books and then limang physics books. So, kung ipe-place natin yung anim na chemistry books muna sa unahan. So, that is equal to 6 factorial. Next, yung natitirang limang books naman na physics. Ayan. So, ito naman, equal po siya sa 5 factorial. Okay. So, since ang chemistry books po ang nauna nating i-place and then physics books, so, pwede rin po naman nating i-arrange in such a way na mauuna naman po yung physics books tapos pangalawa yung chemistry books. So, yung ating solution po dito will be 6 factorial times 5 factorial times 
2 factorial. So, yung 6 factorial po na ito, ito po yung number of ways na pwede nating i-arrange yung mga chemistry books. And then, yung 5 factorial naman, ito naman po yung number of ways na pwede nating i-arrange yung mga physics books. And then, we will multiply it by 2 factorial. It's because, sabi ko nga, pwede pong mauna yung chemistry books na i-place tapos P6, and then pwede rin namang P6 tapos chemistry. So, pwede pong nating pagpalitin yon So, there are two ways po to do that. So, next, multiply lang po natin ng 6 factorial, 5 factorial, and 2 factorial. So, 6 factorial is equivalent to 720. And then, 5 factorial is equal to 120. And then, 2 factorial is equal to 2. Now, we'll just multiply the 3. So, 720 times 120 times 2 will give us a product of 172,800. So, therefore, so meron po tayong 172,800 ways to place uh, those books with the same subject. So, let's have problem number 2. The word rhythm, which means music patterns in time, is a six-letter word with no vowels. Find the number of distinguishable permutations that can be made. Okay, so, kung mapapansin nyo po yung ating word rhythm, lahat po ng letters ay puro mga consonants. So, ibig sabihin, wala po tayong makikitang vowels. So, A, E, I, O, U. Okay, so dito ang gagawin po natin, i-apply po natin yung distinguishable permutations formula. Okay, so identify muna natin yung N. So N is the total number of letters and that is 6. And then, ililist na ngayon natin yung mga letters na umuulit. So for N sub 1 muna, letter H. So since letter H lang po ang umuulit, Hanggang n sub 1 lang po tayo. So, nag-appear po yung letter H twice. So, ilalagay po natin 2. And then, apply natin yung formula for distinguishable permutation. That is P equals n factorial all over n sub 1 factorial, n sub 2 factorial, up to n sub k factorial. Okay, and then isa substitute natin ngayon yung value ng n which is 6. So that is 6 factorial all over yung ating magiging denominator lang po dito is yung n sub 1, yung value ng n sub 1 which is 2. So that is 2 factorial. So ililista lang po kasi natin dito yung mga letters na nagre-repeat. So kasi kung hindi naman siya nagre-repeat, ilalagay natin as 1 factorial. So nonsense din po yon. Next. Express ngayon natin yung 6 factorial na pwede natin i-cancel yung 2 factorial, yung nasa denominator. So, magiging 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial all over 2 factorial. And then, cancel out natin yung 2 factorial. And then, we'll just div uh, multiply the remaining factors. So, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. So, kapag minultiply po natin yon, so, ang magiging product po natin is 360. So, ibig sabihin po, there are 360 permutations that can be made from the word rhythm. Next problem. How many distinguishable six-digit numbers can be made from 276,727? So, hindi lang po puro words ang pwede nating isolve. So, pwede po rin nating isolve yung mga numbers. So, meron din naman kasi pong mga numbers na nagre-repeat. Okay, so lista natin yung N. So, N is 6. Kitang-kita naman, six-digit numbers. Okay, next. Yung mga numbers na nagre-repeat. So, for n sub 1, ililista natin yung 2. So, isa siya sa mga nagre-repeat na digit. So, 2, twice po siyang lumitaw. And then, yung n sub 2 naman, ito naman po yung number 7. Okay, so yung 7, nag-repeat po siya thrice. So, tatlong beses po. Now, applying the formula... 
So, magiging 6 factorial all over 2 factorial times 3 factorial. Okay, so ito po yung lilista natin n sub 1 and n sub 2. Next, express natin yung 6 factorial na maaring makancel po yung 3 factorial. So, magiging 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 2, fac 2 times 1 times 3 factorial. So, ikakancel out po natin yung 3 factorial and then, pwede rin natin i-cancel yung 2 kasi meron po siyang common factor dun sa 6 o kaya naman po 4. So, gamitin na lang po natin is yung 4. So, 2 will become 1 and then 4 will become 2. So, the GCF is 2. And then, multiplying the remaining factors, so 6 times 5 times 2 will give us a product of 60. So, ibig sabihin, there are 60 permutations. Next, number 4 problem. How many distinguishable permutations are there from the word success? Okay. So, n is equal to 7. Okay? And then, yung mga repeating letters are letter S, letter C. Okay, so letter S and letter C. So, yung n sub 1 po natin is yung letter S. So, nag-appear po siya thrice. And then, yung letter C naman, twice. So, solve natin siya using the formula. So, 7 factorial all over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Express natin yung 7 factorial as 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. All over 3 factorial times 2 times 1. So, ikakancel out po natin yung 3 factorial both numerator and denominator, as well as yung 2 and 4. So, yung GCF po nila is 2. So, 2 will become 1. And then, 4 will become 2. Next, i-multiply po natin yung mga factors na natitira. So, 7 times 6 times 5 times 2. So, kapag minultiply po natin, yung mga remaining uh, factors. So, ang product po na makukuha po natin is 420. Okay. So, ibig sabihin po, yung bilang ng uh, distinguishable permutations ng word na success is 420. So, for our last problem, determine the number of distinguishable permutations of the word possibilities. So, bilangin po natin yung mga letters ng word na possibilities. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, 13 letters po ang meron sa word na possibilities. So, n is equal to 13. And then, yung ating mga repeating letters are letter S and letter i. So, yung n sub 1 po natin, ito po yung bilang ng letter s. So, ang bilang po ng letter s, 1, 2, 3. Next, yung bilang naman ng uh, letter i, so for n sub 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that is 4. So, and then applying the formula, so, that is 13 factorial all over 3 factorial times 4 factorial. Now, express natin yung 13 factorial up to 4 factorial. So, 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial all over 3 factorial times 4 factorial. Now, 
cancel natin yung 4 factorial. So, both numerator and denominator. And then, pwede rin natin i-cancel yung 6. It's because 3 factorial is equal to 6. So, 3 factorial i-cancel tsaka yung 6 sa numerator. And then, uh, i-multiply natin yung mga remaining factors. So, 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 5. So, kapag po minultiply natin yung mga remaining factors na yan, as you can see, lalaki po ang sagot. So, ang sagot po natin dito, so ilagay ko na lang po dito yung ating final answer, is 43,200,000 43,200. So, ibig sabihin, ito po ang kabuoang bilang na pwede natin i-arrange yung word na possibilities. So, 43,243,200 distinguishable permutations. So, haba kasi pong lumalaki yung uh, bilang ng letra ng ating mga words. So, of course, uh, lumalaki din po yung distinguishable, number of distinguishable permutations unless yung ating pong word ay maraming repeating letters. So, after nating i-discuss yung solving word problems on distinguishable permutations, our next uh, video lesson will be, we will now solve word problems involving linear permutations. Okay, so... Uh, meron kasi tayong linear permutations at circular permutations. Of course, when we talk about linear permutations, we are referring to line. Okay, so naka-arrange na, naka yung mga objects in a form of a line or in a row. Pag naman circular, of course, in a circular manner. So that's all. Thank you.